All right, so I got this Kendra G reaction. So, you know, let's let's react to it. What's your name, honey? I'm Ashley. Ashley, where are you calling us from? I am from Maryland. I'm in the DMV area. Okay. DMV well, I'm originally area. from I'm originally from Philly, but I live in Maryland. Oh, you live in Maryland. How old are you, boo? I'm 36. 36. Do you have any children? I have two kids. Two girls. Two girls. How old are your girls? 14 and 7. Oh, my pen just died. I got to use my phone. 14 and 7. Hold on. My pen just died. So I got to use my phone to type it out. Two girls, 14 and 7. What do you do for a living? I'm a hair hairstylist. Do both of your girls have the same dad? No. No. Have you ever been married? No. Okay. Hairstylist. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Aries. So this is Ashley, Maryland, 36. Um, Aries, hairstylist, two girls, 14 and 7. What kind of man are you looking for? I am looking for a man that is healed. Um, actually, <clears throat> I'm looking for a reformed hood nigga, basically. <laughs> yes, you have to be healed. You have to be established. Um, I don't mind someone who got out of jail. You just have to be established and on your feet. So he could have did five years in jail, but turned his life around. Yep. And that's the man you prefer, actually. I do. Tell us why. Um, I feel like men that were in jail, they a lot. And when they come out and they turn their life around, um, I feel like they grind better. They are more Look, family you're far oriented. Out. Start from the beginning. I said, what? what? This is this is see this is the this is the thing, right? I get so many haters that say, "Why do you talk about black women? Why? Because we don't have other people holding." women to the fire why would you, this is the thing right why want a man that's that's been to jail that's hood and reformed why not just have a man that's not been that right it's like it is just ridiculous that okay you want a man that has obvious red flags that he's been to jail that he's um you know that he's you know been on the streets. He, he did hood, hood shit. Why would a man that that's obviously has red flags? Reformed. I mean, it's like this is the thing why I said men are more logical, because you can see red flags and not want to deal with it. Because that's why the past matters. Because. If a man that's like, let's say he's been to jail, because let's say, I, I, th I don't have the statistics, right? But men that have been to jail have a higher likelihood of going back to jail, right? They have a higher chance of going back to jail than men that's never been to jail, right? So really it's like, it, it is just like such an oxymoron that, oh, I want a man that's been to jail. Because he's going to be a better man. Why don't you want a, just a good man already? It's like, it is unbelievable that, that women are just not understanding it. They, this is why I say women are making problems for themselves. Women make the problems in life that they are complaining about. It is just utterly ridiculous. Oh, I... It is. Why, why do you want a man? Hold on, hold on. Why do you want a man that's been out of jail? A man that's been out of jail. That means that you know they they look at life differently. They are willing to grind harder. Sorry, they become a family man. Um, they grind harder and they just look at life differently and they willing to turn their lives around. So it's just a whole outlook on life than a man who hasn't been in jail. I've never heard this in my whole entire life. So you never heard of somebody wanting a reform to it, nigga? I mean, maybe I've heard that. 
I think it goes both ways. I know that there are, I know that jail has made some, this is true, jail has made some people, some men better people, you know? But then sometimes jail can do the opposite and then that person never reforms because of the experience that they went through in jail. So it could go, it's a, it, it could go either way. Right. I, I agree with that. But why not a man that just never went to jail but has his head on straight? Uh, I, I've, I've dealt with both. So I, that's just, that's just what I'm looking for. So the man um, that went to jail, you liked him better than the man that never went to jail. Yeah, their 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 mentality is different to me. I mean, you're, you're dealt with neither. This is the thing with women, right? Is that okay? They they, they this is this is the this is the, the 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 headache that women do, right? This is the craziness, right? So you've been with men that you are you're basically saying, right? You've been with you've been with men that's been to jail that's been reformed, right? And yet, you're not with them right now. It is like, I can never understand why. Just like just like women say that, oh, I've been with six-figure men. Okay. Why are you not with them anymore? This, that, 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 that. So really, does that, that, it's like, it's like women don't understand the concept of why do you want to constantly repeat the same thing over and over again? Because your results speak for themselves. It is just, it is so fascinating, the mind of a woman. Because it's just, it, it is the, the level of delusion is insane. Honestly. Okay, why did it work, work out between you and the former jail guy? Um, distance. I went into the military, and so um, it was a whole distance thing. And... We just lost contact, so. Okay, so she's 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 dated the man who had never been to jail and the I, man that went to jail. I'm not and saying that jail is a requirement. I'm not saying you that. say you want a former hood man and then you I do, I with. do, but it don't have to be a requirement. Well, that's what you live with. <laughs> I mean, do y'all know that all I do is repeat what y'all say? <laughs> It doesn't have to be a requirement, though. Honestly, I guess you don't like to hear it out loud when I say it. It's, <laughs> not just, it's the same thing. That's you not, I mean, I guess the terminology is just. Uh, I'll say. I, I've said it before, right? He's a thirty-six-year-old woman that's deluded as ever. It is like, where are the black men that's holding this woman accountable? Right? Where are the women that's holding this woman accountable for the shit she's saying? Seriously? It, it's like. No one's holding her accountable, but like if someone else, right? If God forbid this Asian bull, right? This Asian guy is holding her words accountable. That's when you're on me. It is ridiculous that this, this, this craziness that she's saying, how I mean, it's like, it's ridiculous. You're performing the nigga. All right. Uh, well, what are your deal breakers besides having two parents? who did live in the hood and you came from the suburbs and you don't know anything about it. What are your other deal breakers? Um, I say unhealed trauma. Um, if they know daddy, mommy issues, baby mama drama, um, they have to be uh, established. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You are 36. What's the age range you want to do? Uh, um, Wait, 35. are you 36 or 26? No, I'm 36. Okay, 36. What's the age range you want to do? 35 to 45. 35 to 45. Could he have kids already? Yes. Yes. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Yes. Uh, tall, dark, um, nice teeth, good hygiene. Tall. Oh, dark, nice, good hygiene. Yeah. What about yes. money? Oh, it has to be in the gym because I'm I'm a I'm a gym girly. So. Gym girly. Yes. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, not necessarily because I am well established. So I just would want him to be well established, well in his career. Okay. And, Could he be yeah. in jail getting out? N absolutely not. Oh, not about no. to say because he can't use your address. N 
for? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cause you know I got people that watch. I got cousins in jail. <laughs> I got cousins. We learned it's that. Right. I got cousins in jail who uh -uh. watch the show. Well established. Well established. Well, so I would say, I would say, if you are out of jail, I would say three to five year mark. Post jail, post jail, established post -jail. in a in a job, not bouncing back and forth between jobs. Yeah. Okay. 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 There you have it. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, Kendra Cam. Kendra Cam. Me. But you said my light gotta be. It's a weird one here. Let's see. Oh, you look. You're in great shape. Okay. Okay. Okay, girl. You got some muscles, girl. <laughs> Ashley, when was your last relationship? Um, a year and a half ago. Um, you, did he go to jail? Or was he out? He of was in and out of jail. He, he was in and out of jail. He was in and out of jail. Where's he at yeah. now? Um, he's in Virginia. Okay, he was in and out of jail, but he's not in jail in Virginia. No, is he? Okay. Um, why did it? Oh, that's the one because you moved. No, no, this. This is my, my youngest daughter's father. Oh, 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 your youngest daughter's father. See, this is the thing, right? This is why men say, right? The men that you gave a child to is the men that you will, you attract, right? So no duh, <laughs> no duh she wants black men that has been in jail before because those are the type of men she gave kids, she gave kids to, right? So no duh, she wants a, a hood guy, an ex-hood guy, a man who used to be in jail because she's attracted to those men. Obviously, she's a, she can't even make it work with those type of men, but that's what she likes. This is the thing where I, I say that women are just so self-destructive, right? It's like, it's un unbelievable how self-destructive she is. That's why you have two kids yeah. and they are... Um, um, 14 minutes of it. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? A couple of months ago. Okay. Uh, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I'm going to say I'm impatient. I could be a little bit um, impatient. A little bit of a hot head. And I can't think of it. You know, I can tell you this, right? Those two qualities alone, I can tell that she doesn't attract uh, or she can't keep good men. Being, I can, she's, I can tell, right, by those two qualities alone, she's a woman that has an attitude. So, I think it's more spicy drama going with an ex-convict, right? It's, it's that Those type of men can deal with her attitude better. While men that are decent good men, right? That have self respect, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna they ain't gonna deal with that BS. They ain't gonna deal with the the attitude. Uh, 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 number three, I don't know. You only have two. You you only, you only have two flaws. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna say I can be eager too. Eager, eager, mm -hmm. eager, eager, eager. Independent. Some people see it being independent as a flaw. It it, it could be either or, depending on a man. Right. Some men. Okay. Some men don't like women to be too independent, but I'm, I'm independent. Okay. Ashley, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I am established. I have my own. Um, I, I, I'm a hard worker. Um, I'm pretty. I am empathetic. Um, and yeah, I'm fun. I'm a fun Aries. Aries. Everybody yeah. loves an Aries. Get you an Aries. Everybody loves the Aries. Get you Aries. All right, yeah. let's do it. This is Ashley Maryland, 36, two children, um, 14 and 7, hairstylist, um, 36. And um, let's do it. How could the guy reach out to you? Yeah, she's she's not she's not bad looking, right? But the thing is that <clears throat> I believe that with her old age, not old age, but with her life experience she's damaged she is mentally damaged right i don't think she's healed no i i think she's she's so trauma filled 
she loves the men that are trauma filled themselves, right? And that's the thing, right? You could see that she's been she's given child to these type of men. She can't even make a relationship work with these type of men because she's been in a relationship with the men she's asking for. And yet they don't work out. And yet she wants to repeat that cycle. Thinking that if I do exactly the same thing, oh, uh, I might get a different outcome. Which is always truly the definition of insanity. So it, it, it's unbelievable. This is the thing, right? It's like she's attractive, and, but and I think she, she pulls the other type of men. It's just that her mindset does not fit with these other type of men. So I just think it's a sad thing that this is the thing where I feel for these women, right? Because they are creating their own problems. They are creating the life that, that they have issues with, right? They're creating, you know, the single motherhood life that they have. They're, they're the creating the no man life that they have. They're creating the the all the problems that they are experiencing in life. So at the end of the day, there's no one to blame but themselves. When you only want to date men that's been in jail, okay, you off the bat, you're already dating a man that has red flags. Okay? When you date when you want to date a man that's you know been a street guy, off the bat you are already Willing to date a man that has red flags. I mean, yes, are there are there good men that's reformed, right? Been to jail. But it's like, you know, if a man that's been a criminal, he has the propensity of those criminal behaviors, right? Negative behaviors, right? He has negative behaviors already in him. So... You are choosing a man that's already have and shown negative traits. And yet, those are the type of men you want to give your body, you want to make kids with, you want to be with. And you wonder why your relationships fail. And you wonder why you're still in the dating market at 36 as a single mother. Okay. Okay. You know, repeat your cycle of pair bonding with the pookies. Right? Repeat it because th that is your life. This is the thing where, you know, she will, you know, she will die alone because pair bonding with those type of men, honestly, will just repeat the cycle that you've already been repeating. At 36, you're just going to repeat that same cycle until you're 46, until you're 56, and so on. So I think it's ridiculous, but. What can I say, right? Women choose the crap that they are living in. Ah, I don't know. What do you guys think?